working with polar bears at the zoo to save polar bears in the wild. New research methods are being developed here at a zoo in Winnipeg in partnership with zoos and aquariums across Canada and the United States to gain scientific insight into new ways to study and save polar bear populations. There's an amazing amount of, of really incredibly important conservation science that happens in zoos that people don't know about. Dr. Stefan Peterson with the Assiniboine Park Zoo in Winnipeg says he is thrilled to be part of an international team working to advance critical areas of study needed for polar bear conservation. Peterson says it's hard to research bears in the wild, so studying bears in care offers vital baseline data that can be applied to bears in the wilderness. Peterson's team is currently working on new satellite tracking technology that doesn't require a collar. Small devices are being glued to the bear's fur to test how long they stay attached, how cold weather and seawater affect the sensors, and what eventually makes them fall off. Not only is that less invasive, it lets us look at bears that we could never collar before. So you can't put a satellite collar on a, a cub or a growing bear or a male because their necks are bigger than their heads, so they just fall off. A more colorful experiment taking place uses glitter-filled meatballs to help analyze bear droppings, offering researchers insights into the animal's nutrition, hormone changes, and reproduction habits. And you can and you can get that from. But the challenge we had at our zoo and some other zoos is we have nine bears, and so we need a way to figure out whose poo is whose, <laughs> so. At the Oregon Zoo, we do have the world's only um, metabolic swim flume. Amy Cutting works at the Oregon Zoo in Washington and with Polar Bears International. Cutting's team is studying how much energy the bears expend swimming versus walking. We know that in some cases, in some populations, in some individuals, they're swimming further and further distances than we've seen in the past due to sea ice retreat. Cutting's team built an enclosed pool with a current the bears swim against. By measuring oxygen intake versus CO2 output, it provides a snapshot of how much energy wild bears expend when swimming. And if we can start to put together data, on what is the energy, what is it costing them to travel further distance? What is it costing them to swim further? We can really start to look at and predict trends and think about what we need to do in order to, to protect them. Rates of fur growth in zoo bears is also offering insights into wild bears behavior and stress levels. Cutting says if our current greenhouse gas emission outputs remain the same, two thirds of polar bears will be extinct by the end of the century. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.